How's it going guys? This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I want to show you a really cool menu bar application that I use all the time. It is actually called No Sleep and it's running right now, right here. You see it, the ZZ for sleep. If you click on that, it will make it so that your Mac will not go to sleep. It stays awake so you can close the cover, it stays awake, it doesn't matter. Now let's look at some of the preferences for No Sleep here. You see there are two options, never sleep on AC and never sleep on battery. Those can work independently of one another, or you can just have them both on at the same time. Uh, there are a lot of other options that you'll see as well, like require password, use black and white menu bar icons, start on startup, automatic updates, double click to activate it, etc. But the most straightforward part of this is that it will just keep your device awake when you have it enabled. So right now I have it disabled. I'm gonna go ahead and close my Mac and see what happens here. It's completely closed. I'll just try to open it just a little bit. You can see it's, okay, so it's open. All right, and you can see it's locked. It locks the screen because no sleep was disabled. It wasn't enabled, so I'm putting my password again. Now I'm going to enable no sleep and watch what happens. Notice the difference here when I close my Mac. So it's enabled now. I'm gonna go ahead and close my Mac again. All right. And I wanna do it so you can see the screen go off. So notice the screen goes off. Uh, so you're not wasting screen um, energy or battery from the screen, but notice it still stays awake. Even with the device completely closed, it's still running. If you're like rendering a, a file in Final Cut Pro or something like that, it'll still do that with the cover closed. So basically no sleep allows you to have your Mac MacBook Air or MacBook Pros cover close completely, yet still run just like it's completely open and normal. So I hope this was able to help you guys out. This is a very handy utility, especially if you use like um, external monitors and things like that. This can help you out quite a bit. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.